Hey everybody, military surplus carbine collector here. Uh, yeah, I changed my name from uh, Adventures in Idaho Military Surplus Collector. The new name of the channel is going to be uh, Military Surplus Carbine Collector. Most all of my my firearms are carbines, so I think I'll just change the name. Anyway, I just got these two uh, Carcano carbines uh, from Royal Tiger, they were on sale, so I thought I'd pick up a couple. Uh, and uh, I did get the hand select option, um, which added another few bucks and everything. And I asked them uh, if they could pick out a, a, a tourney, I think you call it, and a Beretta. And, but all I got was, uh, which I'm very happy, was the Brescia. Brescia or uh, Brescia? I don't know, I can't speak Italian, but uh, anyway, um, one of them is a, a 1941. Uh, it's got the date right here, but this one, um, this one uh, is a Brescia, the FNA-B, but over here it doesn't have the date. Um, it just has a little stamp there, and I'm kind of wondering what the what the date of the rifle is, so if uh, anybody out there knows, I'll put a close-up of it and uh, let me know down in the comments. Yeah, this is a Brescia uh, FNA and no date, and all it has is this little mark over here on the other side. I'll get you a close-up of that. Yeah, um, the condition of these carbines are, are, are really good. I'm, I'm really happy. Um, the stocks are real nice. Real, really in real good shape. Um, there's a little bit of that fungus and stuff or whatever's on there. It's growing, but that'll come right off. Um, all the bluing is there. Uh, there is some light surface rust, which... Uh, will come right off with a little steel wool and um, first I'll have to get all that cosmoline out of there but uh, they're looking pretty good let me let me turn them around and, and look at the other side okay here's the other side looking at the other side of them yeah there is a little surface rust but I know that'll come off uh, it came off of the other one I ordered and and got came out real nice stocks are both exactly the same color and everything um, this one here you're looking at has a little more surface rust but but all the bluings there all the bluing is there it's real nice Let's take them apart. I'll, I'll take them apart and uh, we'll look at the parts and see how it looks underneath the stock and everything. Okay, I've got the 1941 Brescia taken apart. Stock looks good. Um, the numbers on the stock match uh, the serial number, so that's good. I think the stock's original. Um, bayonet there and there's a lot of bluing until you come right here and then right up underneath the uh, wood where the uh, barrel meets the receiver there's a little bit of um, missing bluing but that's okay a lot of markings and on the receiver right here I don't know if you can see it maybe I'll, I'll put a little close-up or take a close-up shot there's a 1941 uh, it says 41 with some other markings all of it looks good no rust, really. Magazine looks good. Uh, the bolt, uh, right here on the bolt, there's a marking of R O C G A, 
right there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll get a close-up of it. Take a close-up, but uh, the bolt's uh, pretty much packed in, packed in cosmoline there. That's good. That's I like to see that cosmoline. It's fine. Okay, let's take the other one apart. Okay, here's the other brescia. I've got it taken apart. Um, the stock looks good, although the stock does have a little crack right here. That's moving around a little bit. I can glue that back so we'll be good. Uh, this, the uh, numbers on the bottom of the stock match the serial numbers, so that's the original stock. Uh, the bayonet looks good. All the bluing is on the bottom of this one. Oh, some light surface rust and everything. I'll get that off. Um, got a little stuff growing right here, but uh, that'll come off. And right here, there's a lot of little markings, but it doesn't really give me a date. There could be a possibly a 30 on there, but it's really small, so I don't know. All the other parts look good. The magazine looks really good. And the bolt, uh, pretty much packed in cosmoline or got some real heavy grease. And right here, uh, there's a serial number. It looks like it's been engraved on there, which doesn't match the rifle. But uh, the bolt functions really good. The bolt's in really in good shape. So, so let's put them uh, back together and One more thing on this uh, Brescia 2, the undated one, the one we're trying to find the, the date of manufacture. You can see on the stock, you can see those two little black spots, and uh, the stock has been repaired there. You can barely see it, and uh, it's a real professional job, and it's uh, been pinned right there. But uh, it's solid. It's all there and just something I just now noticed, so no big deal. Stock's in great shape. Okay, I got both of the uh, brescias put back together. Um, as you can see from some of the close-ups, it's going to take a, a little bit of scrubbing here and there to get these things all cleaned up and get the surface surface rust off and the grease and, and everything. Um, I did run a brush down the bore. There was a lot of cosmoline down there. Um, and the, the bores looked, looked pretty good. There was a little bit of frost down there, but uh, all in all, for a rifle this old, they look pretty good. Um, it doesn't swallow the bullet uh, on either of them. So the muzzle's good. Um, also, also on both of them, the action is good. It needs a little bit of cleaning. A little more grease, but uh, all in all, uh, for for these uh, surplus rifles and rifles this old, these are in excellent, to very good to excellent condition. Um, I want to thank thanks Royal Tiger for sending me out a couple of nice ones, you know, and uh, it came boxed up real nice. There's the boxes and uh, um, on the one carbine that doesn't have the date, the manufacturing date on it. Uh, you saw the uh, little markings that, uh, earlier that are on there. If uh, you know what that marking is or anything about the dates uh, of that one carbine, uh, put it in the comments and I uh, appreciate that. And uh, thanks for tuning in to the Military Surplus Carbine Collector channel. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and we'll see you next time. Uh, I'm real happy with RTI, the ones they sent me out, and, uh, damn phone. <laughs>